What is up guys welcome back to another video on the channel in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to improve your fps in the finals now these steps are pretty simple so let's get into it the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have game mode enabled so to do that you're going to go to search and you're going to type in game mode you're going to see game mode settings you're going to click on it and you're going to make sure that game mode is selected and it's on once you've finished doing that, you're going to go down to where you see graphics and you're going to select the graphics tab. Now what we want to do is add the game's exe to this area. So to find it, we're going to go to browse. You're going to go to this PC, local, this C. Then you're going to find your Steam where you install Steam. So I have Steam here and then I go down to Steam apps, commons, and then I see the finals here. You go into discovery. This is not the exe, not the proper one at least. So go into discovery, then go into binaries, then go into win64, and this is the exe. So we're going to go and add it. I already have it right here, as you can see, the discovery exe. So once you've added it, you're going to click on it and then go to options and go down to high performance. Don't let Windows decide for you. Make sure that you have it on high performance. Click save. And pretty much that's how you add it to high performance. The next thing that we need to do is disable full screen optimization for the game. So we're going to go to Steam. We're going to right click on the game. We're going to go to manage and browse local files. You're going to go to where you see the EXE again. So it's discovery, binary, Win64. And then this is the EXE. Right click and go down to properties. You're going to go under compatibility tab and then you're going to go down to where you see disable full screen optimization. You're going to check that and also you're going to click on a change high DPI settings and you're going to override it by clicking this. You're going to press OK, apply and OK. Next, what we need to do is to make sure that our Windows is running in high performance mode. To do that, what you need to do is go down to search. You're going to type panel. You're going to see control panel pop up. You're going to click on that. Then you're going to go down to receive hardware and sound, then power options, and then you're going to see high performance. If you don't see high performance, simply create a power plan. You're going to click on it. You're going to select the high performance, and then you can name it whatever you want to. Click next, next, and you've created the power plan. After you've created it, you're going to go to the search and you're going to type in advanced, and it's going to show you the advanced system settings. If you look under the system, you're going to see view advanced system settings. You're going to click on it and then this is going to pop up you're going to go to settings and then you're going to see these options you're going to go down to where you see adjust for best performance you're going to click on it and then you can turn on show thumbnails instead of icons and also smooth edges of screen fonts click apply and ok now we're going to be taking a look at our graphics card settings i'm using amd so i'm going to right click and i'm going to go down to my amd software it's going to open up the adrenaline software we're going to go under gaming then graphics and you're going to be choosing the same thing that i have right here so this is the best performance the best settings for your amd graphics card so performance you're going to make sure that you have radian anti-log on and then you're going to make sure that you have radian image sharpening you can mess around with this depending on how sharp you want it you can also turn this off it's a preference it doesn't really affect fps you want to also have on Radeon Enhanced Sync and finally Anti or Tropic Anti Anti this one. Make sure that you have this one on and you can set that to two. Under display, you can go ahead and change, uh, I mean, enable custom color. If you want to make it a little more vibrant, a little more saturated, you can go and change that and, you know, get better color. Performance and then tune in. Make sure that you have this enabled and make sure that this is on default. So the final step is to copy some files into the configuration file for the finals. This is going to overall improve your FPS. To do that, you need to open your file explorer, then you're going to go to this PC, then you're gonna go into this PC, you're gonna go down to user, the name of your computer, which mine is slop, then I'm going to go into app data, if you don't see app data here, what you need to do is type in your search, which is file, and you're going to see the file explorer options. You're going to go where you see view, and then you're going to show hidden files and folder. Make sure that this is click to show, apply and OK. So you can see the hidden files. So we're going to go into app data, then we're going to go local, then you're going to scroll down until you find discovery. 
and then you're going to go to save and config windows client and this is the game user settings i and i you're going to double click on it you're going to open it up with a notepad because everyone has notepad on their computer and then you're going to see that we have some code right here you're going to scroll down to the bottom you're going to go and press enter so that there's a space where you can actually pay something again you're going to copy the code from the description and then you're going to go ahead and paste the code right there so once you've pasted it you're going to look for this right here that says streaming pool size depending on your system then you choose which pool size you want to use if you're using a 4 gig i suggest that you go with 1048 if you're using 6 gig you go with 2048 and if you're going with 8 gig like myself you're going to change that out to 3072 and then you're going to go file save and then you can go ahead and launch the game so we can change some in-game settings so once you're inside the game you're going to go to settings we're going to go under the video tab and you're going to make sure that your window mode is full screen your resolution is the same as your monitor disable vsync i'm using the amd fsr2 quality for graphics, I have 100 field of view, I disable motion blur, and also lens distortion. For this one, I just leave this at static, I don't know, because I have an AMD, I don't think the NVIDIA RTX uh, settings is for me. Then everything else is set to low. And once you play the game, you'll see that you're getting a ton more FPS, less lag, and less stutter. Hopefully this video was helpful, if it was, please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel for future content.